Hello everyone. Welcome to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So this time I'm going to show you how to darken the clouds so that they look more like rain clouds. Last time we implemented increasing the cloud level of the atmosphere but they looked white and that is not suitable for a rainy weather. So this time this is what I'm going to do. As you can see, the sky is darkening and the clouds start to appear. But they are not as white as before. They are more like rain clouds. They are dark. Yes, they are pretty dark compared to what we had earlier. And yes, as before, we have started raining and yeah so once the raining is stopped the sky cloud level will be decreased and cloud color will turn to white and sky will be again lit not dark okay the rain is stopped and clouds level is reducing and also they are starting to become more white change race rate is a little slow but you have to keep looking so you can see the effect all right the sky is becoming more lighter and clouds are decreasing yes okay nice weather again and dry flow so let's get started okay so this is our project and the first thing is that if I select the our current BP skysphere blueprint you can see there are some I'll increase the cloud level a little more so that I can show it clearly. Oh, wait. And okay, refresh. So, right. So, there is uh, this option to change the overall color. So, if I make this a little darker should be reflected here but it's uh, not happening that's because these colors are determined by sun position is uh, enabled so if I disable this and refresh you can see the sky is darkened a little bit so but I can't use this option because uh, if I disable this then it will affect my time of day system that I want to develop in the future so I want to keep it enabled so therefore what I am going to do is instead of using this one I'm gonna create another material parameter here in our parameter collection I'll name it gloom that's the word for darker in the sky right okay I'll use it as go no problem right so I'm going to modify our sky mesh material here you can see there are some multiplication uh, okay I'll delete this one so this is the main output or the main color of the sky and I'm going to add the multiply node here and I'll use that parameter I just created to multiply this 
this gloom parameter right so I'll comment this for rain right and I'll apply this now I'll we do not have to disable this one and we don't have to use these colors so it will work in any time of the day so all I have to do is uh, yes first I'll yes increase the cloud level to show you and uh, if I decrease this gloom level as you can see the sky is darkening right so yes now it's getting darker so more suitable for uh, like looks more like rain cloud okay so now I'm going to change this parameter dynamically in our weather controller before starting the rain so I'm gonna create yes I'm just like we use this update sky rain level and everything I'm gonna duplicate this and I'll name this uh, update sky color okay now I'll create another variable target uh, gloom level. I'll change this to update sky gloom level. Okay. <coughs> right now I'll open this one. And uh, instead of this, I should use this one target gloom level. And uh, instead of this current uh, cloud opacity, I should get the current gloom level. To do that, I'll use uh, get scalar parameter value. And select MP global and select gloom and plug it here right now instead of setting this cloud opacity I should set scale uh, parameter value select MP global select gloom and plug it here right so yeah that's it and now all I have to do is uh, before change yes as I set the target cloud cap opacity I'll set target gloom level here when and I'll put it as a point two I'm not sure this is the good enough number but let's see oh I can see it here I'll put it point two and yes so it's not dark enough point one and yeah that's good enough I'll set it back to one and this is to point one all right and uh, I'll give it a little more time 20 seconds this time okay and after this I'll set the uh, 
transfer gloom level to back to one so sky becomes clear once again and white clouds all right i think uh, that's all oh wait a minute i have to reset this one right i'll put it like two okay now let's play and see if the desired effect is taking place okay the sky is darkening and the clouds rain clouds are appearing this time they are not so white as before they are more dark clouds Okay, rain started Good. and the uh, ground is wet once again and we have dark clouds. Right. So in thirty seconds Rain should be stopped, okay. And the sky is becoming white. Or clear. And the clouds are reducing. I should have increased the change rate, but that's alright. So that we can easily see the effect changing but we need it to be subtle when we are in actual games right now once again the clouds are cleared and the sky is again lit and ground is dry okay so that's all for today and in the next episode uh, what are we gonna do we will work on actually i haven't think about it but it should be something about either the time of day system or we'll see okay see you in the next video goodbye